a child growing up, we didn't have a whole lot. Uh, we being defined as me, my mom, my grandmother. It was just us for a long time. There were no family vacations. There were no summer camps. I was 18 the first time I ever saw the beach. It's a part of my childhood I really hate talking about because I am my mother's daughter, and I know that if she were sitting in the audience today, she would focus, like I would, on the shortcomings, the things she couldn't give, the things she wasn't able to provide. And she would miss the most important thing, which is what she gave me instead. And what she gave me was the world because she gave me the gift of television. Back before on-demand streaming services made things readily available, there were certain movies that aired just once a year. These were the things that we looked forward to. Holidays were rough, my mom was usually working. Our rituals and our traditions, they were wrapped up in these viewings. And these viewings, they were really active viewings. What would you do if? What did you think about? Wouldn't it be nice? And so I grew up watching and learning lessons from these movies. The Wizard of Oz, Gone with the Wind, Roots, It's a Wonderful Life. And from these viewings, I learned some pretty significant life lessons. From The Wizard of Oz, I learned about stereotyping. Never judge a book by its cover. That lion may seem big and mean and ferocious, but if you got to know him, you might find out he's kind and gentle. From Gone with the Wind, I learned that sometimes apologies aren't enough for how you've treated someone. These movies, these viewings, they were my first exposure to capitalism and race and ethnic relations, vocabulary I wouldn't even have until years later when I would study sociology. Above all, what these movies taught me, what these viewings taught me was perseverance. There's always a bad guy. Sometimes the bad guy was an evil witch out to get your shoes, out to hurt your dog. Sometimes the bad guy was life happens and a war erupts all around you. Your job, your task, your goal, above all, survive, get to the end no matter what. <laughs> Later, when I use that perseverance and probably a healthy dosage of naivete and decided the best move for a first-generation college student should be to go to grad school. And when I got there and had convinced myself that I had made the worst decision of my life, I had my stuff packed up, ready to go, knowing I didn't belong there. It was television that once again came to the rescue. What started off as a small, quiet confession you watch Dawson's Creek? I do too. <laughs> do you want to come over and watch it with me? Evolved into the most amazing, the most supportive, the most wonderful group of friends anybody could ever hope for. If my grad school advisors or mentors are for whatever reason listening to this right now, they might cringe thinking, that our time would have probably been better spent on research or working on publications, but those Wednesday night viewings were everything. Just get through one more week. Just get through one more semester. They were the ones that got me through it. On September 11th, that same group of friends, once again, gathered around a television set, trying to make sense of a senseless day. When people find out that I watch a lot of television, sometimes they like to tell me, oh, well, I don't watch any television. Sure, 
We may not sit in front of a television set in the same way. We can now stream it on devices and watch it on our phones and all sorts of DVRs have changed how we see things. But I'm willing to bet you watch more than you realize. If you're watching the news, if you're watching sports, just backstage I heard lots about fantasy football leagues. <laughs> if you're watching the weather, you're watching TV. But more importantly, what I think is, wow, how sad. TV has done so much for me. And that's not to say that TV isn't without its problems. That's another talk for another day. But what TV has done for me is something it still continues to do today. When my favorite character on my favorite television show gets killed off, I immediately go to the internet and instantly I am connected to a world of fans who are processing, digesting, mourning, doing all the same things I did as a kid. So for all those people who love to tell me that they don't watch a lot of television, I say, what are you waiting for? Look at everything it's done for me. Seriously, let's go watch some right now. <laughs> Thank you.